Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we will understand about the solenoid valve. Next, we will discuss the following topic today. The first topic is, what is the solenoid valve? The second topic is the construction of the solenoid valve. Next, the third topic is the working principle of the solenoid valve. Next, the fourth topic is the application of the solenoid valve. We will cover the above topics in the upcoming slides. Next, we will understand about the solenoid valve. Please refer to the picture. The top of the parts are called as solenoids. Please refer to the picture. The bottom of the parts is called a valve. Next, we will understand about the solenoid valve. Next, a solenoid valve is an electrically controlled device used to regulate the flow of media. Next, it operates by having a plunger that moves up and down in response to the magnetic field generated by the electrical solenoid. Next, the plunger either opens or closes the orifice through which the media flows. Next, solenoid valves come in various designs, construction materials, and circuit functions, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Because they are electrically controlled, they can be operated remotely and automatically. Next, we will understand the construction of the solenoid valve. The major parts of the solenoid valves are The first part is the valve body. The second part is the solenoid body. The third part is the inlet port. The fourth part is the outlet port. The fifth part is the solenoid coil. The sixth part is plunger. The seventh part is the solenoid spring. The eighth part is the orifice or diaphragm. Next, we will understand the construction of the solenoid valve. The major parts of the solenoid valves are. Next, we will learn about the first part of the solenoid valve, valve body. The solenoid valve body is the component that connects to the solenoid assembly, serving to control the fluid carrying circuit. This part is also referred to as a solenoid valve opening. It is essential that the valve body can contain the medium in the circuit without sustaining damage. For this reason, manufacturers use high-grade materials to construct this component. Next. We will learn about the second part of the solenoid valve, solenoid body. The solenoid body is the component that connects to the solenoid valve assembly. It contains the spring, solenoid coil and plunger assembly. Next, we will understand the construction of the solenoid valve. The major parts of the solenoid valves are. Next, we will learn about the third part of the solenoid valve as inlet port. The inlet port is where the media enters the solenoid valve. It is the opening that allows fluid to enter the valve before it is either opened or closed by the valve seal or disc. Depending on its function, a solenoid valve may have one or more inlet ports. Next, we will learn about the fourth part of the solenoid valve as outlet port. The fluid flows out of the automatic valve through the outlet port which is connected to the process that requires the fluid. Next, we will understand the construction of the solenoid valve. The major parts of the solenoid valves are. Next, we will learn about the fifth part of the solenoid valve as solenoid coil. The solenoid coil is the electromagnet assembly made of steel or iron. As current flows through the coil, the steel-covered cylindrical solenoid coil acts as a magnet. This component, typically round and hollow, houses the coil windings, securing the coil wire in place and allowing it to generate a magnetic field that moves the plunger. Next, we will learn about the sixth part of the solenoid valve, plunger. The plunger or piston is a critical part of the solenoid valve that Controls its opening and closing. It is usually cylindrical and made of ferromagnetic material. When the solenoid coil becomes magnetized and creates a magnetic field, the plunger moves up or down, regulating the flow of media in the valve depending on the desired operation and the valve's mechanism.
Next, we will understand the construction of the solenoid valve. The major parts of the solenoid valves are. Next, we will learn about the seventh part of the solenoid valve, solenoid spring. The solenoid spring provides the tension needed to keep the plunger in place. When the solenoid coil current is stopped, the spring returns the plunger to its original position. Next, we will learn about the eighth part of the solenoid valve, orifice, or diaphragm. The orifice or diaphragm connects the inlet and outlet ports. The movement of the plunger or piston, controlled by the spring and the current flowing through the valve, regulates the size of the opening, the orifice, or diaphragm, stopping the flow of fluid from the inlet to the outlet ports. Next, we will learn and understand the working principle of the solenoid valve. An electric solenoid valve is an electromechanical device that regulates fluid flow. It consists of an electromagnetic actuator, known as a solenoid, and a valve body. Solenoid valves operate in two positions, meaning they act as control valves that either allow, or prevent, fluid flow when electrically energized, or the energized. When the solenoid coil is energized, it creates a magnetic field that moves a plunger inside the coil. Depending on the valve's configuration, this movement will either open, or close, a port within the valve. When the coil is de-energized, a spring returns the plunger to its original position. Next, we will see the working principle animated video for better understanding. When the solenoid coil is energized, it creates a magnetic field that moves a plunger inside the coil. Depending on the valve's configuration, this movement will either open, or close, a port within the valve. When the coil is de-energized, a spring returns the plunger to its original position. Next, we will learn and understand the application of the solenoid valves. Next, we will learn and understand the application of the solenoid valve. Some of the common applications are. It is used in the bag filters. It is used in the hydraulic system. It is used in the ash handling system. It is used in the pneumatic system. It is used in the compressor's auto drain valve. We hope everyone understands about the solenoid valve the construction of the solenoid valve, and the application of the solenoid valve. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.